This is question number five. We're told the point P, 2,8 lies on a curve and the point M is the only stationary point of the curve. The curve has equation y is equal to 6 plus 2x minus 8 over x squared. In part A for three marks, we're asked to find dy by dx. dy by dx is the gradient function or the first derivative. The first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite y. y is equal to 6 plus 2x minus 8x to the power of minus 2. Differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to x, we will have now 0. If we differentiate a constant, we get 0. Differentiating 2x will give me 2. Differentiating minus 8x to the minus 2, we multiply down by the power and we drop the power by 1. We can just tidy this up. We can write that dy by dx, the gradient function, will be equal to 2 plus 16x to the minus 3. You could write this as 2 plus 16 over x cubed if you like. Either way round we would get our three marks. In part b, again for three marks, we're asked to show that the normal to the curve at the point p, 2, 8, has equation x plus 4y is equal to 34. A normal is just a straight line. For the equation of a straight line we need two things. We need a point that it goes through, which we've got, and also a gradient. If we take the point P, 2, 8, we have the gradient function. This would give us now the gradient of the tangent at the point P. I'm going to find that value and then find the negative reciprocal. So what we can say is at P, dy by dx, the gradient function of the tangent, will be equal to 2 plus, and using the second of the 2 here, we're going to have 16 over 2 to the power of 3. That's going to give me 8. We can see that's going to be 2 plus 2, which is 4. I'm going to say that m1, which is the now the gradient of a tangent, is equal to 4. Therefore, m2, the gradient of a normal, will be the negative reciprocal, which is minus 1 quarter, as m1 multiplied by m2 will be equal to minus 1 if perpendicular. So I've got a gradient. I've got a point that it goes to, I simply need to sub this into the equation of a straight line. I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m, the gradient, multiplied by x minus x1. At this stage, you can, of course, use y is equal to mx plus c. y minus 8 is equal to minus 1 quarter, then we have x minus 2. Multiplying both sides by 4, 4y minus 32 expanding the brackets, minus x plus 2. Adding x to both sides, x plus 4y, and adding 32 to both sides gives us x plus 4y is equal to 34 as required. We now move on to part c. The first part, again for three marks, asks us to show that the stationary point m lies on the x-axis. For a stationary point, we can state now for sp, stationary point, dy by dx, the gradient function, will be equal to 0. Therefore, I can say 0 will be equal to 2 plus 16 over x cubed. I need to solve for x here and then plug that value into the equation we've got to find y. So subtracting 2 from both sides, minus 2 is equal to 16 over x cubed. Rearranging, we can say now that x cubed is equal to 16 over minus 2. That's going to give us minus 8. Taking the cube root of both sides, x would be equal to minus 2. We know that y is equal to, and if we go back to our original equation, 6 plus 2x, and then we have now minus 8 over x squared. So what we can do is just plug these in, minus 8 over x squared. We can say now when x is equal to minus 2, so when x is equal to minus 2, y will be equal to 6 plus 2 lots of minus 2, minus 8 over minus 2 squared. So if we want to show this now lies on the x-axis, we can state quite clearly that y will be equal to 0. So from this, we can see that y will be equal to 6 minus 4. 
If I square that, that's going to give me 4. So we're going to have now minus 2. Therefore, from this, we can see y is equal to 0. And we have the coordinates. And the coordinates are going to be minus 2, comma, 0. So we can see from that, and if you want, you can conclude now that that, now the point M, lies on the x-axis. So that part is done. OK, the next part, part 2, hence, write down the equation of the tangent to the curve at M. The question carries one mark. We can simply state that this is now y is equal to 0. If we just think what the curve might look like, it doesn't have to be massively accurate, this is what we'd have. We'd have some curve now, let's do this, and now we have a minimum point down here, and it looks something like so. So let's say we had a minimum point here, or if we like, we could have now a maximum point. It doesn't really matter, either or. If this was a maximum point, we'd have something that looked like that. We can see now that the gradient of the tangent would be zero. Therefore, this is going to be the tangent, and that is the line y is equal to zero. So we should be able to just write that down. So that's minus two comma zero, and that is the point M. In the next part, we've got part D for two marks. The tangent to the curve at M and the normal to the curve at P intersect at the point T. We're asked to find the coordinates of T. The question carries two marks. So we know that x plus 4y is equal to 34. Simultaneous equations, we've got x plus 4y is equal to 34. That's equation one. Equation two, we know that y is equal to zero. Therefore, we will have now the coordinates 34, comma, 0. All I've simply done is said that if y is equal to naught, x is equal to 34. And we can state now that that is the point T. So T has the coordinates 34, comma, 0.